Hi my little readers, welcome to Storytime with Miss Gina. Today we are going to be reading A House is a House for Me, uh, written by Mary Ann Hoberman and illustrated by Betty Frazier. Just in case you guys don't know what an illustrator is, an illustrator is somebody who draws pictures for the book, okay? All right, I, got, I want you guys to just kind of listen, follow along, look at the pictures and observe and enjoy. A hill is a house for an ant, an ant. A hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. See? And a house is a house for me. A web is a house for a spider. A bird builds its nest in a tree. There is nothing so snug as a bug in a rug. And a house is a house for me. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A sty, that's a house for a sow. A fold, that's where sheeps all gather to sleep. A barn, that's a house for a cow. It is also, of course, a house for a horse. A kennel's a house for a dog, a dog. A dog is a house for a flea. But when a dog strays, a flea sometimes stays, and then it may move in on me. Houses for rabbits are hutches. A house for a mule is a shed. A castle is a house for a duchess. A bed bug beds down in a bed. Mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. Whales need an ocean or sea. A fish or a snake may make do with a lake, but a house is a house for me. A shell is a dwelling for shellfish, for oysters and lobsters and clams. Each snail has a shell and each turtle as well, but not any lions or lambs. Lions live out in the open. Monkeys live up in a tree. Hippos live down in a river. Now, what do you know about me? All these little monkeys, the hippos in the water, all these little sea creatures. An igloo is a house for an Eskimo. A teepee is a house for a Cree. A Pueblo is a house for a Hopi. And a wig wigwam may hold a Mohi. A garage is a house for a car or a truck. A hangar is a house for a plane. A dock or a slip is a house for a ship. And a terminal is a house for a train. All this. A husk is a house for a corn ear. A pot is a place for a pea. A nut shells, a hut for a hickory nut. But what is a shelter for me? A glove is a house for a hand, a hand, a stockings, a house for a knee, a shoe or a boot is a house for a foot, and a house is a house for me. A box is a house for a tea bag, a teapot's a house for some tea. If you pour me a cup and I drink it all up, then that tea house will turn into me. Cartons are houses for crackers. Castles are houses for kings. The more that I think about houses, the more things are houses for things. And if you get started in thinking, I think you will find it is true that the more that you think about houses for things, the more things are houses to you. Barrels are houses for pickles and bottles are houses for jam. A pot is a spot for potatoes. A sandwich is a home for some ham. The cookie jar is home to the cookies. The bread box is a home to the bread. A coat is a house for my body. My hat is a house for my head.
Perhaps I have started far-fetching. Perhaps I am stretching things some. A mirror is a house for reflections. A throat is a house for a hum. But once you get started in thinking, you think, you think, and you think. How pockets are houses for pennies, and pens can be houses for ink. Oops. How peaches are houses for peach pits, and sometimes are houses for worms. How trash cans are houses for garbage, and garbage make houses for germs. And envelopes, earmuffs, eggshells, and bathrobes, and baskets, and bins, and rag bags, and rubbers, and roasters, and tablecloths, toasters, and tins. That was a lot. The mouthful. And once you get started in thinking thing this way, it seems that whatever you see is either a house or it lives in a house, and a house is a house for me. A book is a house for a story. A rose is a house for a smell. My head is a house for a secret, a secret I never will tell. A flower's a, at home in a garden, a donkey's at home in a stall. Each creature that's known has a house of its own. And the earth is a house for us all. Yes, it is. The end. I hope you guys like the book. Until next time, please keep up with your reading and listen to your parents and make good choices. All right, have fun.